Hi, I'm Tom Cruise, and welcome to the Graham Norton Show. Actually, how annoying is this? We've just missed Tom Cruise Day. We have, this is true, uh, in Japan, the 10th of October is officially Tom Cruise Day. It is. I mean, I feel awful. I didn't get my card or anything. <laughs> you think, what an honour to have a day named after you. <gasps> I wonder how people would celebrate a Graham Norton Day. <laughs> <laughs> Every day is Graham Norton Day. <laughs> Tom joins us at a very exciting time in American politics. This week saw the last of the big presidential debates in Las Vegas. There they are in Vegas. Do you think, wouldn't it be great if they'd wandered into the wrong room and got married? <laughs> 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 you both lose. Uh, <laughs> Trump, of course, had his own hotel to stay in. Lucky him. Mind you, he had to stay in a standard room. Yeah, Hillary had already booked the presidential suite. <laughs> <laughs> From my mouth to God's ears. <laughs> now, uh, here's, uh, here's Trump turning up at the debate with his children. There they are. Ivanka Trump, Tiffany Trump, Trumpity Trump, somebody Trump. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, there they all are. Five little Trumps followed by a big orange shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's happened to the best of us. And let's get some guests on! TV's funniest characters, from Falmouth Nan to schoolgirl Lauren, and my bumper, yes I am, it's Captain Tate, everybody! <laughs> wow! I, I haven't seen the phone down. <laughs> I know. It is going down. I know. You've seen them. You've seen them out there. He's out there. Tom, <laughs> talented Mr. Ripley, to Cold Mountain and Sherlock Holmes. Now he's playing the young Pope. Praise be, it's Jude Law! And now she's in the action-packed thriller Jack Reacher, Never Go Back. It's Kobe Smulders! Hey! Hello, lovely. Welcome. Thank you. Welcome. For the first time. Have a seat on the couch. Kobe Smulders. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Jack Reacher's here. Yes, it's the biggest movie star in all the world. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tom Cruise! It's your fourth time. It never gets old. It never gets old. It's Tom Cruise. It's exciting. It's exciting. Uh, so you're all very welcome. Very, very welcome to the couch, but especially Tom. Um, <laughs> no, no, you're all very welcome. You're very welcome. No, that, I mentioned the thing, the Tom Cruise day. Is that a real thing? Yes. And what happens? I don't really know. <laughs> you, you haven't no. been yourself. No, I haven't. I haven't been able to make it. It was, I, yeah, it was just came up and they just named a day after me. I felt very honored. You know, it was after I did Last Samurai. Oh, of course. Yes, I did Last Samurai and it was something that we brought kind of Bushido back into their culture and something that they didn't really know a lot about and uh, something that we studied and so they started studying their own culture again in schools and it's really wonderful. And now there's a Tom Cruise day. I, know, I feel very honored. You must get half price somewhere or something. No, right, you must be <laughs> And Kobe, it, it's hard for you. You've just spent so much time yes. with Tom. You've been working with Tom, but do you? So do you... much time. <laughs> <laughs> so much time. But I liked. I liked at the end of filming. Kobe uh, wrote a tweet that sort of summed up her experience on the film. Uh, so much fun making Jack Reacher with Tom Cruise, but so much running, Tommy. Just so much running. <laughs> 
so much running. There is a lot of running. He was so fast, and 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 he would kind of he would kind of give me shit too yeah, yeah, yeah. if I wasn't keeping up. So it was, it was I was very determined to at least look like I could I could keep up. She with kept him. up. Yeah, but no, but I'm I'd behind. I'd be behind her. Going, go, 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 go. <laughs> arms, 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 like knees, 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 like knees, knees, like to look perfect. Well, no, yeah. because you have the famous movie. Because he looks. Perfect. <laughs> no, and I was watching and I could see you had gone to the Tom Cruise School of Movie Running. I did. You, it was... I have my diploma. I'm a graduate. Yeah, she's a graduate. Yes. She got her bachelor's. Yes. Because, uh, Catherine, famously, you were the runaway bride in Doctor Who. Now, did you get... <laughs> did you get... <laughs> did, you get <laughs> did you get special that coaching? Was did you get special, or was it just kind of... Did, did you also do, go to Tom Cruise School British running? running? And I was running against David Tennant, who's... He's a whippersnapper. <laughs> he can like, run like that. And I was... And he always used very, very kindly, um, which doesn't sound like you were afforded the same <laughs> hospitality. David used to factor in reasons to stop so I could catch up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, Jude, I don't think of you as a runner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm really in the right company to place no, about have I seen running you? Up. Have I seen you running? East London? Uh, used to say, don't you have to run in East London? I, I run from everyone. Yes. <laughs> 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 uh, I've done a bit of running in my time. I'm trying to think. I had to run. I had to run once in character. I was playing this guy who was uh, out of uh, prison, and so I put on a bit of weight for the part. And I was wearing these skin tight, skin tight trousers. And we decided for some reason that he would wear these huge, like Cuban heel boots. And <laughs> running in those. Was, were you running in heels? No, thankfully. No, you see, I was running yeah. in heels, so I had. <laughs> Well, yeah. it's, it's, oh, really it's, it's really divided the couch. It's divided the couch. Heels, no heels. Heels, no heels. Fast. Heels. Heels. And uh, Jack Reacher, it's lots of action, lots of fights, lots of stunts. And we, we rarely hear about you getting injured, but apparently in the first Jack Reacher, you did hurt your foot. Yes. Yes. There's more to this story, I'm guessing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And So, when, you know, when you're kicking someone in the balls, uh, in, <laughs> in movies, they wear a strap, a leather strap that they put in one shoe, and it goes up all the way down through their growing all the way down to the other. And there's a leather strap there so that you can really give them one, you know? I never knew that. I know. It's an old cowboy thing they developed so that they could do the kick in the balls. And Newman did it for Butch Cass, his yeah, Sundance yeah. kid. So they pulled the strap out for the ball kick, and I ended up having to do it, like, almost 50 times. And my foot was swollen for a week <laughs> from kicking him in the balls. <laughs> I never saw it. All the stunts I've done. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Being the guy who's, uh, who yeah. balls swelled Tom Cruise's foot. <laughs> yeah. He would stand there with the strap like this, and of course steel, we had to warm up, you know, yeah, 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 so yeah. I had to get the angle right, and I just kept kicking him in the balls. And, <laughs> and I was like, didn't we get this? Because my foot is killing me. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, uh, Tom and Kobe, they're here with Jack Reacher, the new Jack Reacher, Never Go Back. It's out everywhere now. The thing is, Jack Reacher books, I think, is it, am I right to think there's 20? Jack Reacher. Yes. Yeah, he's coming up with Thank his 21st yeah. Yeah. next month. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So this is book 18, which seems quite random mm -hmm. to pick, just go to the shelf and pick 18. Mm -hmm. So how does that happen? It's random. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just through dice. Yeah, well, it's, just, it's just the story. There are so many of them, and it just seemed like a nice one to go to because of the relationship uh, that he has with the major who's played by Kobe. She has Reacher's old job, and he goes back to take her out on a date, basically, because he's intrigued by... She's helped him at the beginning of the movie, yes. intrigued. And, well, she gives and a good it, phone. She gives a good yes, phone. Yes, very good phone excellent talk. on the phone. Great phone talk. Excellent on the phone. Yeah. And uh, then a whole journey ensues with corruption, and yeah. he gets drawn into the story, and there's lots of beatings. And Have you read all the, the yes. Jack Reacher books? Yeah. Of Have you read all of the books? Really? Of course he yeah. has. He's Tom yeah. Cruise. So have I. <laughs> I've every single yes. one. And they were all enjoyable. Like... <laughs> it's very hard to choose a favorite. Did you read Never I read, Go Back? I read, did you read, I that, read that one. Did you read I did book? read ours. I read ours, You read yes. the script. I'm saying the I book. read the script and the book. Did you? And all the other books. <laughs> well, because I'm a committed actor. That's my craft. And thank that you for the job. <laughs> No, but, but so as you say, Jack Reacher, he's on the run, but Kobe, you're kind of, you're 
with him the, the whole way. You're kind of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're sort yeah. of paired together. Uh, and um, and uh, because our characters are both used to being in command, it's, it's a pairing that is quite awkward at first. Two commanders. Two yeah. commanders. But, yeah. As you can tell. <laughs> but, <he's>, road. <laughs> but what's good is because there is that kind of free song romance, but there's no sense of damsel in distress. It's very, no. you're both on it. No, she's just as bright and tough as Reacher, and uh, he's a great character. You crushed it, I have to say. Well, listen, we've got a clip. This is uh, the two of you uh, interrogating a witness. Ooh. Okay. You are a specialist, Daniel Perdon, right? And I spoke to two MPs, Sergeants Murkovich and Sibeli. They interviewed you in Bagram. No, no, I never heard of them. Sergeants Murkovich and Sibeli. Murkovich had a six-year-old daughter. Sibeli's wife is pregnant with their first. Now, look, tell me, what happened? Well, kill me. She'll kill you. <laughs> An action before, but she was very natural at doing that. Yeah, the bank, the, said, yeah, it was, was like, good. Yeah, yeah. It was really, it was really nasty. <laughs> it's really nasty. Movie. And this is just put in my head. In the movie, I don't think I've ever heard in an American movie anybody call anyone else a dickhead. That seems to yes. be a very <laughs> British. <laughs> is that a very British thing? I, I think it is a British thing, but we, yeah, it came, it rolled off the tongue very easily. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she said it very easily. Yeah, you said it a few times. She said it yeah. a few times, didn't she? Yeah. Like, yeah. As a matter of fact, she ad libbed a couple of times. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I was like, really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess we say it quite a bit. Yeah, no, I, I just never heard an American it. say it before. I mean, I say Dick. it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> now, Tom Cruise, every time you're here, I, I sound like your mother because you, you, do, the, you do the stunts and I worry for you. I, wor I just think, stop now. Luck running out. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's only so many times you can do these crazy things. Like the last Mission Impossible, you mm. learned how to hold your breath underwater. Yes. Tell the people how long, this is incredible, how long could you hold your breath for underwater? Six and a half minutes. <gasps> Good, right? Yeah. <laughs> Those takes underwater because it took from the time you get rid of the regulator, get rid of the bubbles, get on the side, and we wanted to do it in one shot. So they were very, very long shots. So these takes took, you know, they, I'd have to hold it consistently, you know, safely up to four minutes almost for every take. Almost to the point of why bother? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But we were committed. Everyone was there. The camera was set up. I, I, I'm just like, what am I going to say? It was too late to say no. How is that possible? Is it circular breathing? Do they do that? No, no. It's just that you have these free divers that came in and trained me how to do it, and it's, it's, it's not pleasant. Oh, it's no, really. It's, you panic. Do you get to a moment where you? Panic? No, actually, you you get to the moment where you train your your uh, your system to. I'm now under. I'm controlling the breath. So I've got a low heart rate anyway, and I would, very low heart rate, which means my body's not using as much oxygen, but also we did stuff to bring the heart rate down lower in mm. certain breathing exercises. And I trained for a long time to the point when I finished the sequence, there'd be times I'd be sitting there talking in meetings and I wouldn't breathe. I realized I am not breathing, and I had to turn my autonomic system back on to breathing in. That's bad. That's yeah. bad. <laughs> That was a little. I I did that, so I'm done with that. But actually, Jude, though. Oh, uh, no, Jude. no, no, stop it. Jude. Stop it. Jude. But you are the, in the young first the running. No, 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 no stop it. In the young pope, in the young pope, you do hold your yeah, breath. Yeah, for about forty seconds. Yeah. No, no, it was quite a long time. It was it's no six and a half time. minutes, but it was a long time. Yeah, it's no six did and a half minutes. <laughs> Thank you. Did, did you train for it? So you know you start no, feeling I, that I, agony. I mean, it's painful. I didn't actually because it's not. It was. It really isn't that long. Uh, <laughs> basically, oh, no. it, was in the, it was in the script that uh, he's, uh, he's 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 had this trauma. I don't want to give anything away. Uh, he he he, we'll give he a little has a away. prayer and he decides he wants to get away from everyone. So he's in the bottom of his palatial swimming pool. So that the shot starts on the back of me, and we had to time the length of the prayer. We, it's about over, over a minute, let's say that. Yeah. And it comes around, and so we had to time you. it so it comes around. And like you're saying, the thing that takes the longest is once you're down there, you're waiting for the bubbles to clear. Yes. Mm. And they're ready, and then you hear, well, because they've got microphones in, so you hear. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> did you start to feel you do a little pain starts yeah. to come you could feel the that's why i asked about the panic because i would i was just trying to count it or, or recite the prayer, but then I worried that the prayer would start changing speed, so I started counting, and then I knew every time I got to, like, 70, I was always starting to think, OK, they, I hope they're there soon, because then I had to tr trust that they were in front of me for when I open my eyes, do this, and then I go up, so... Wow. But it was no wow. six and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so you know that pain. I mean, I had to train to it's be fun able to stuff get past to do, me. Though, the first right? time I did it, it was like... Yeah, I, Learning that kind of stuff is, yeah. is honestly, I think... Yeah. No six and a half minutes. No. Uh, but it's, it's a perk. You know, you learn to do these weird things and wonderful yeah. things. And that's so no, not a useful thing to know how to do. I mean, <laughs> sure, learn it's French. Well, say, <laughs> say you're out with, you know, when you get thrown out of the boat and you're down there. Now that's you know true. how to hold your breath. I could stay alive for an extra six yeah, minutes. For an extra six minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you beat them all. Yeah. 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 He you're was the, the last one to die. You're on the <laughs> One to go. Yeah. <laughs> you get to wave them all goodbye. Yeah. They all hate you as they die. Yeah. yeah. It's useful, you're quite right. <laughs> all right, we're going to watch another clip from uh, Jack Reacher. Now, this is you, Tom, in, in a diner mm -hmm. dealing with a sheriff who's come to arrest you. Yes. Okay. Process him and get him to county. Two things are going to happen in the next 90 seconds. Excuse me? First, that phone over there is going to ring. Second, you're going to be wearing these cuffs on your way to prison. <laughs> well, that is one magnificent prophecy, Mr. Reacher. She's gonna keep on ringing. Sheriff Raymond Wood. Who the hell are you? The guy you didn't count on. Ooh. It's a tank. Yeah, you get a fun character to play. It's like one of those movies you get to say lines like that. And, you know what I mean? It's one of those movies you get to, like, a Western or something like that, where you get to say those fun lines and have fun scenes like that. Can you just turn that on? Could you do that? Could you be that intense and just say that line to me? <laughs> Two things are going to happen in the next 90 seconds. First, that phone over there is going to ring. Second, you're going to be wearing these cuffs on your way to prison. Ha, ha, ha. Well, <laughs> that's, a, that's a magnificent... Don't laugh! I'm having my moment! <laughs> that's a magnificent prophecy, Mr. Reacher. <laughs> I've acted with Tom Cruise, everybody. <laughs> In fairness, the phone didn't ring. I know what happened. No, I know. Anyway. But, <gasps> but wait! Oh my god! <laughs> it's like superpowers. <laughs> that was incredible, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, it's. See, I think it, and it Yeah, Jack, I know, that's, that's incredible. Jack yeah, that's, that's, Jack that, that's better than holding your breath for six minutes. <laughs> I know, that's about it. Hey, right. Catherine Tate fans, this is amazing. Catherine Tate, we, and it's so big, we, I've seen the ads on the telly. It's, oh, my God. It's so big and posh. Uh, Catherine Tate is back with a new live show. It's Catherine Tate Show Live, and it's kicking off in New York on the 31st of October and then touring the country till uh, December. Yes. Uh, but now, you've never done the characters live before. No, I've you? never done it live. So how does it work? Don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> At the moment, uh, it's, it's a, a, a logistic thing, cos I'm doing 18 different characters and uh, I've got to get on and off and put the prosthetic stuff on and get back on. And it's a bit right old time of it when I... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you guys probably aren't familiar, are you? Can you explain any of these characters to Tom and Kobe? To, um, I, I do a, a, a belligerent teenage character, a belligerent old age lady, <laughs> an old age pensioner character that I think all my characters are quite belligerent. <laughs> we realised <laughs> as I was writing this one, it's the one thing they all have in common is uh, they tend not to like the world. So it's just uh, it's just lots of, of different characters, yeah. And Nan's voice, because it's an old granny, a kind of foul mouthed granny, but like properly foul mouthed. Can you do some now for Oh, all right. Uh, <laughs> well, I actually, uh, I got the voice when I was at drama school, when I was training, um, and they split up our year, and half the year went to um, 
to schools to give kids a really serious devised play about not taking drugs. The other, well, the other half, except for four of us, went to another school to talk about using condoms when you start having yeah, sex. Great. And four of us <laughs> got asked to go round the local oldie, old age pensioners' homes <laughs> and give them a trip down memory lane. Um, which, as it turns out, old people can't be dragged down memory lane. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to go. <laughs> they don't want to go. So we turned up, you know, it was about 18, and they'd put us in sort of old agey clothes and hats. And they asked, it, and, and we used to go in to their recreation room, you know, there's a table tennis, you know, <laughs> cobwebs on it. <laughs> Not being used. But it's their sort of recreation room, and we'd stand up in front of them and um, sing, I think it was the Andrew Sisters or something, and they go, well, we'd have to go dancing under the apple tree with anyone else but me. And as we walked on, there was one place, it was in Temple Fortune, because I went to Central in yeah, yeah. North London, and they sent us this place, and as I walked on, one lady, as I walked on, she went, oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember thinking, oh, this is extraordinary. And as I was doing my stuff, and we, we, we did it for about 20 minutes, and all the time she was just like, oh, she's all out now, isn't it? This. <laughs> <laughs> and at the end of it, and we'd been doing very professional job as we are 18, you know, whatever it was, you know, it's a long way to Tipperary, join in, it's a long way. And at the end of it, she went, is she going to stay in front of that fucking chelly all day? <laughs> terrified that Fantastic. people will think it's her mother. No, my mum does say you mustn't keep swearing, because in, in the show that I do, I, t I took that character and made her a grandmother, and uh, she swears a lot. And my mum's very concerned that she says, you mustn't keep doing that, because people will think that's Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. And it's not. Not. But who was it? Was your godmother gave you a line? Uh, my godmother, and I actually did use it in the show, my godmother said, um, when my cousin had had a baby, she said, um, Teresa's had the baby. <laughs> she's, uh, she's calling it Tesco's. <laughs> <laughs> Tesco's is the name of a supermarket. Oh, yeah, yeah. supermarket. <laughs> and I said, I'm almost certain she's not called the baby Tesco. <laughs> she went, she has. <laughs> she, well, I can't pronounce it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I ran out my cousin. I said, Trees, what's, what's the baby called? And she said, uh, Francesca. <laughs> <laughs> Does any of this ring true with you, go? Because isn't your mom British? My mom is British, yeah. She's from Norfolk, yeah. Is that why you use the word dickhead all the time? Maybe. Yeah. 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 Good old mom. That's what Good old mom. <laughs> <laughs> just heard it around the house. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, is, it, is it a British thing where you're just so cruelly honest a lot of the time? <laughs> this yeah. one, my, I, I had this one moment with my mother, and I was in the 12th grade in, um, in high school, and uh, we put on the production of Singing in the Rain, and instead of giving me a, a part where I, where I spoke, they gave me a, a part where I sang, which I'm not great at. And it wasn't, it wasn't great. It wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. And my mom came to our first performance, and, you know, we were all excited, and I was, like, flushed, and I felt really great. And I, I did it. I nailed it, even though it was a challenge for me. And I came off stage, and she said, Oh, Kobe, oh, you were so wonderful. You couldn't sing a note of it, but you just sang it anyway. <laughs> I was, I still had like eight shows to go <laughs> And so as I'm in there, by the way, singing Putting on the Ritz, which is not in Singing in the Rain, uh, I just, it was just in my mind and it was horrible. Yeah, yeah that's a British mother. Yeah. <laughs> or an Irish mother. Another British mother thing. Um, going out, I'm going out. All right, all right, go out. Yeah, you look great. You're going to a, you know, first night, whatever. You look nice. Does my hair look all right? Looks all right from the back. <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, Catherine Tate, good luck with your tour. I'm sure it'll be a huge success. Yeah. The people have spoken. Now, do 
Jude Law. Jude Law. Uh, you've got your brilliant new TV drama. It's The Young Pope. It yeah. starts Thursday at 9 on Sky Atlantic. And it's a huge, lavish... I mean, it's extraordinary the way television is going now, that these... Mm. The production values, the scale of these things are enormous. And the, the premise is that you play this kind of young, charming... But Men kind of, Bellardo, his name is. Yeah, but kind of kick-ass. Uh, more like a well, politician, almost. Ish. He... he, he, he it's current day. Uh, he's just been inaugurated as uh, Pope Pius the Thirteenth. Uh, the Conclave, the, co the College of Cardinals, uh, have no idea how he's been elected because no one can work out who voted for him. They're all trying to figure out what kind of a pope he's going to be because no one really knows much about him. Is he going to be uh, uh, liberal? Is he going to be uh, reformist? Is he going to be dogmatic? Is he going to be um, uh, progressive? He doesn't really know who he can trust, and. The story really un unpeels. You you learn more about his background. He was a child orphan. Um, you learn through his relationships with the various cardinals, priests, nuns um, in the Vatican what his aim is and why he's being put in this position. But, you know, yes, he is the first American pope. He's the youngest pontiff in history. So he's got a certain expectation. Uh, he smokes, he drinks coke, uh, but he's also got a lot of secrets that maybe you aren't expecting. And the brilliant Diane Keaton is in it. I mean, I, I, yeah, it's Diane so, plays yeah. Sister Mary, who is the nun that he raised him in his orphanage, and she comes over as a kind of confidant. Um, it's got a wonderful international cast because, of course, it's in the Vatican where all the cardinals are from around the world. So we have wonderful Spanish actors, French actors, yeah. Italian actors, Chilean actors. Um, James Cromwell is an American cardinal who, who is my confidant as well. Yeah. Where'd you shoot it? In Rome. All in well, wow. seven months in Rome, a month in Venice, and then a little bit in South Africa because. Uh, oh, poor you. In the Venice. Listen, we've got a clip of the young pope, and this is you uh, as a brand new pope, sort of laying down the law. Our top priorities are one. The Radio Vatican signal needs boosting. It's unacceptable the reception is so poor. Two, the Pope wants to see all the gifts the Pope receives, have a storage facility fitted out for storing all the gifts I receive. Three, the Vatican must immediately buy back the papal tiara from the Basilica in Washington, D.C., which my predecessors, who favored sobriety over tradition, imprudently let go. And four, Sister Mary will also look after you. She will oversee all your activities and report directly back to me. She'll be your guardian angel. I am uh, 60 years old, Holy Father. I don't need a guardian angel. Oh, we all need a guardian angel, Voyello. Especially unscrupulous. Ambiguous men. It's a very funny thing about, you know, you notice um, the popes always have their hands here or here, and I always thought there must be some ritualistic symbol. It must be, so and then we realize they've got no pockets. <laughs> <laughs> so I put it on every morning and be dressed, and you need ha help putting it on because there's so many buttons and layers and but it, it becomes a very comfortable position to keep your hands and then uh, I'd go out for dinner at night in my jeans or whatever and I'd still be walking around like this <laughs> and my kids would always say dad you're, you're holding your hands like the Pope <laughs> it's actually very comfortable <laughs> and listen, we must move on but very quickly uh, obviously Jack Reacher is Jack Reacher 2 yes. uh, but apart from the Mission Impossible movies we don't really associate Tom Cruise with franchises or, or sequels and yet, exciting news reaches. Is it true there's going to be a, a Top Gun 2? I know. Oh. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on. This, this, this no. was on the, the Tweedy Jerry... Uh, here we go. Look, there we yeah. go. There's Jerry Bruckheimer. Say, discuss a little Top Gun 2. Yes, we're discussing it. <laughs> we're discussing it. What? We're trying to figure it out. Oh, do it. Go on. I'm trying. I'm trying. Look over there. Look, yeah. You sold, you sold, you sold 600 tickets right there. Six hundred tickets. If you can figure it out, I'd love to, I'd love to work on it. If you can figure it, it out. The only thing I would think is because again, it goes back to what. Because I've heard you in interviews talking about 
the trials of being in one of those jets. Yeah. I mean, it's horrific. Or would you be better now? Because oh, no, because I fly aerobatics now. But when you first start flying, you're gonna, you get sick, you know? You but, like, properly help. sick? Y yeah, properly, like, fill a bag sick, you know? <laughs> I know, the first day when, uh, yeah, you, you know, you've flown in... Yeah. Yeah. But you get really sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I flew with the Blue Angels, and then I went, when we were filming, I kind of, my deal was, when I made my deal, I said, I've got to fly in the F-14. I made it with the studio. And I had to be filmed in the F-14, live. And uh, so I had to go through all the ejector seat training, and I uh, couldn't wait to fly. So in the morning, I said, I'm the first pilot uh, that I flew with. Uh, his name was Bozo. <laughs> And, uh, yeah. Gives you confidence. Yes, yeah. Gives you confidence. <laughs> like, Hi, how are you? Bozo. Bozo. Okay. <laughs> and we were up there. We had five minutes of film. And we had to turn, you know, we had to coordinate, he and I, and we had other airplanes coming in on us, and there was air combat maneuvers, and we, we very detailed briefings and everything. So we're going out, and we're just right, you know, I don't know, a couple feet off the deck in the desert, and we're just sweating. I'm sweating in the F-14. And, and uh, because we were doing heavy maneuvers. And... We did a really heavy maneuver, we pulled like nine and a half G's, and I, you know, you go out, you've got a G suit on, but you, you know, you just kind of black out. And when I came through, it's like I had my, my barf bag right here on my side of the thing. I was like, okay, so now I'm gonna go get it done so I can do the next take. So I leaned down like this, pulled it out, I was like, just went down like this, and he at that point decided to pull up. <laughs> and he pulled up so hard and for so long. I, I mean, I can't do it now. My head literally was touching the ground <laughs> with the G-force in my spine. And the push to talk was right here. I was going like this. Going, bozo, bozo, bozo. And I was, it's like, you know, I mean, he was going up forever. So finally he leveled off and I just, I had the bag in my hand. I was like, I said, bozo. <laughs> Didn't you see? I like you get a check. You didn't tell me you were gonna do that. My head was like, "What?" He says, "Yeah, yeah. They don't call me Bozo for nothing." <laughs> <laughs> so I had my bar bag. I held up. You know. uh, Tom and Toby, as we love you, touring the world. Right? Mm -hmm. You've been to China, New Orleans, LA. You've done the Tennessee. London premiere. Tennessee. Yeah. London premiere has been done. Yes, mm -hmm. tonight. And now, Kobe, is Tom doing that thing? Where he causes a sensation on red carpets because he does. Yes. Yes, he does. Yes. You do, though. Does, you do. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, look at this face. Uh, no. <laughs> he, 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 face. No, but you do. You love meeting the fans on the red yeah, carpet. You really spend a lot of time fun. doing it, talking on phones, taking selfies, yeah. all that stuff. So we thought we might spread a little Tom Cruise love here this evening. Okay. <laughs> now, now, just think on. Would you like a selfie with Tom Cruise? Yeah. Because what we're doing is we're looking for the people who have come the furthest, not just people from abroad who live here. Ha <laughs> 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 uh, uh, People who've travelled. People who've travelled to be here. And we'll, we'll see how many we can get around. Uh, with a, oh, oh, no, oh no, no, calm down, calm down. Uh, OK, so uh, are you up for this? Yeah, let's do it. OK, do so it. let's do as many as yeah. we can. Now, okay, come with me, come with me. OK, here we go, here we go, okay. here we go. Uh, you got a phone? OK, who are you? Who are you? Where are you from? Australia? Okay, come on, you, you guys. What's your name? Brent. Brent, okay, quick, 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 quick. Here you go, here you go, here we go. Right, there we go. Done, okay, another one. Where are you from? Leeds, not the farm. Leeds, all right. Let me know. That's it? Talk. Okay. We've got a Pennsylvania. Hey, she's from Leeds, she don't have it. That's cheating, that's cheating. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, right here. Hello, okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, quick. I'm sorry, I'm in it, sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's do some move okay, to the other side. Quick, quick, quick. Here we go. Come on, we got the Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no, no, no. Do what we got. Can we do it? Trinidad, Trinidad. Okay, Trinidad, Trinidad. 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 Let's go. Quick. All right. Let's go. Can we do it? Can we do Tom Cruise running? Can we do Tom Cruise running? Yes, let's go. Tom Cruise running. Slow motion. Oh, don't do it. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Let's speed it up in post. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Okay, up here. Who have we got? Who have we got? Who's involved? Sorry? India. Very good. Okay, stand, 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 there you go. Any more? Any more? Yeah. Where? Holland. Are you really? You're not from Holland. <laughs> Are you from Holland? Okay, go on then. What's your name? Joyce. Okay, go Joyce, go Joyce. Where's anyone? Oh, we've got a Ghana, Ghana. Quick, 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 quick. Beautiful. And have you taken it? My hair stayed. No, no, no. There you go. Swit, do you want to Switzerland? Switzerland. Okay, Switzerland. 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 Okay. okay. You both in? That's the last one. That's one. Well done. Thank you all for having me. No more. No more. No more. Run, run. This Tom Cruise running on set. Can we do this? Can we do this? Okay. Oh, it's an action sequence. Well done, you all. There you go. I'm exhausted. Oh, well done.
on you. Yeah. Thank you. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Great. It's time for music. I'm so excited to welcome this Grammy winning rock band to the show for the first time. Performing their new single, Waste a Moment, from their new album, Walls, it is the mighty Kings of Leon. <laughs> It's a tight car, but we're not going yep. far. <laughs> uh, OK, that is from uh, the new album, Walls. It's out now. And uh, this is recorded on Thursday, so I'm pretty sure that by tomorrow that's going to be number one, right? We hope we so. think so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was number one in midweek, so <laughs> nothing else has happened. <laughs> yeah. It is, it is. And so, Kingsley, it's the three, bro three brothers. You're yep. the... And then cousin on the end there. That's right. Aww. No. <laughs> <laughs> the cousin, right? <laughs> Is that weird? Do you feel kind of excluded because you're the cousin? Absolutely not. No, we've always been really close since we were. You young. did put him on a stool. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's our. It's like Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah. There's a funny card table with some plastic on it and that stool. Um, but now your mom, she is very involved. Not your mother, obviously. You're just the cousin. I am. Uh, <laughs> your mother. Uh, she's she's very involved. She clears all the material. Is that right? She tries to. She says she does. But but yeah, she didn't hear this one. She was pretty upset. <clears throat> I remember uh, 
we were about to release the first single, and she was like, y'all are getting a whoop, and I haven't even heard this album yet. <laughs> she said, it'll never be successful if I don't hear it first. <laughs> no, I like you. Even on Twitter, bless her, uh, I like this is such a mother tweet. So you, you're excited for oh, the new God. single, Waste a Moment. Buy it if you haven't already. And underneath, that is your mom, I'm guessing. Betty Ann Murphy. <laughs> yeah. Text me how to find it. Tried to last night and never did. <laughs> and like three angry emojis. You're in trouble. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We're getting a whooping. <laughs> you are good. But hey, she didn't need to hear it. It's a huge success. It's number one. That's right. Take Thanks. that, Betty Ann Murphy. Never hear yeah. It. yeah. <laughs> Ellis, I'm so happy for you. And thanks for doing that live and everything, because I know it's not easy to get all that equipment and everything. Uh, Kings of Leon, everyone. Yeah. Very good. Before we go, we've got uh, time for a story to in the big red chair. Who's there? Oh, hello. Hello. My God, how tall are you? Six foot three and a half. Is that all? You look about seven five. <laughs> um, These shoes are big. Yeah. And uh, what's your name? Luke. And where are you from? Perth, Australia. Oh, Perth. <gasps> yeah. Nothing. Um, <laughs> and, uh, do you live here or travelling? I'm living here. I'm a teacher in Tower Hamlets. Okay. What do you? What, I mean, obviously you teach children. What do you teach them? Okay. Little kids. Year twos. So everything. Everything. Yeah. He knows it all, everyone. <laughs> I'm struggling with the British history, though, a little bit. Come well, I'm sure start. they are, too. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Offstead, <laughs> it's him. Uh... Okay, off you go with your story. So, my wife and I were in Colombia uh, on a bus, on a party bus. We did not speak a word of Spanish, and no one on the bus spoke a word of English. We're having a great time sipping rum, um, but then uh, I got struck with probably the worst bout of food poisoning I have ever had in my life. Like I'm talking, it was stage 12 critical code brown. Um, <laughs> the... Nicely expressed, I think. <laughs> the thing is, my wife, because we didn't speak any Spanish, she was really trying hard to explain to the, ev anyone that would listen. She was, she's a really bad mimer, um, and she's trying to mime that. I'm very, very sick, but it just looked like she was miming that I really wanted to dance, so all of the people were just looking at me and pointing and saying, yeah, yeah, in Spanish, obviously, si, si. <laughs> but, yeah, that just sort of went downhill from there. Eventually, uh, my wife was able to somehow communicate that I could get off the bus and we managed to safely exit the bus. Get out of stupid no, boy! <laughs> shit himself. <laughs> I can only apologise. <laughs> what a dull story. I was a little ill, but not that ill, on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> so, one more. Okay, we'll just squeeze in one more. Quick, quick, quick. This is the one. This is the one. I look... What's your name, lady? Dawn. Dawn! I have high hopes for Dawn. <laughs> eh? Where are you from, Dawn? The Hope Peninsula in Kent. Woohoo! <laughs> You're, are you here alone, Dawn? No, there's three out there. Well, they're very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Could someone wake Dawn's friends? <laughs> uh, all right, Dawn, off you go with this story. Right. When I first met my husband, he used to make a lot of bread. So one day I decided to make some myself. <laughs> Let me say, I love I that. That's bread. amazing. <laughs> I got the flour out of the bread cupboard and it had black bits in it. I wasn't sure what they was, so I sieved them and made the bread. A few days later, I found out what the black bits were. We had mice in the cupboard. <laughs> and you'd eaten the bread. <laughs> <laughs> is that... See... I, oh, is the husband... Your husband's here? Yeah, he doesn't oh. know. He doesn't know. He... <laughs> <laughs> Where's Dawn's husband? Wow. There he is. Look, hail and hearty. Well done. <laughs> and should we let Dawn walk? Because yeah. I just like yeah. Dawn. Yeah. Yeah. Dawn, you can walk. Thank Come you. on. Show and have a go in that red chair you can. Just contact us via our website at this very address. Uh, that is it for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So please say a huge thank you to my guest. It's Kings of Leon! <laughs> Captain Tate! <laughs> Jude Law! Toby <laughs> Smulders! <laughs> and Mr. Tom Cruise! <laughs> Join me next week with music from Leanne Rhymes. Breaking Bad star Brian Cranston and two of our hottest young British actors, Benedict Cumberbatch and Eddie Redmayne. I'll see you then. Good night, everyone.